Good afternoon on this Monday. Sam Dick and Amber Philpott reporting. A woman accused in a deadly crash was brought to court today on a stretcher. Police say Sabra McCarty crashed into Sarah Cottle's car while under the influence two weeks ago in Rowan County. Cottle died after entering a plea. McCarty's attorneys had a request of their own. WKYT's Mark Barber explains in our top story at 430. Sabra McCarty's attorney says she was arrested in the back of an ambulance last week. So instead of going to the hospital, she went to jail. McCarty's family says she has been sitting in her jail cell for five days without proper medical care. As McCarty was wheeled into the courtroom on a stretcher, her attorney said several of her vertebra are crushed. Her heels are broken, her femur is broken. One of her arms is broken, and she has serious injuries to her internal organs. Her grandmother's worried about her health because she was told another inmate has been giving her medical care. McCarty's attorney is pushing to get her out of the Rowan County Detention Center and into a hospital. The judge denied his request to lower her $500,000 bond and is checking to see what the courts need to do to move her to a hospital. This morning, the 30 year old's attorney entered a not guilty plea for her two charges of murder and wanton endangerment. According to an arrest citation, McCarty was under the influence when she crashed into a car on Highway 32 back on May 1st. Sarah Cottle, the driver of the other car, was killed. The 23 year old graduated from Moorhead State University last year. She was back in the area for the annual MSU gala. The judge could decide if McCarty will be transferred from the detention center to a hospital when she's back in court for her next hearing next Tuesday. In Moorhead, Mark Barber, WKYT. We have put in a call to the jailer at the Rowan County Detention Center to ask about the medical care their inmates receive, but we are still waiting for an answer.